May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to uh, another Guk Audio mini podcast. I'm D.C. Puba of Guk Audio and Guk Archives. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So, um, yesterday I read uh, the first part of the uh, verbatim, uh, apparently verbatim transcript for the Beginner's Mind Lecture, but it comes from an old uh, transcript. I'm going to read you another snippet I read you last night from, uh, you know, in terms of how it's laid out, I read, you, I read you the first paragraph, and tonight I'm going to read you the second paragraph. In beginner's mind, we have many possibilities, but in expert mind, there is not much possibility. So in our practice, it is important to resume to our original mind, our inmost mind, which we ourselves, even we ourselves, do not know what it is. This is the most important thing for us. The founder of our school emphasized this point. We have to remain always beginner's mind. This is the secret of Zen and the secret of various practices, practice of flower arrangement, practice of Japanese singing, and various art. If we keep our beginner's mind, we keep our precepts. When we lose our beginner's mind, we will lose all the precepts. And for Zen students, the most important thing is not to be dualistic or not. We should not lose our self-satisfied state of mind. We should not be too demanding or we should not be too greedy. Our mind should always be rich and self-satisfied. When our mind becomes demanding, when we become longing for something, we will violate our precepts not to kill, not to be immoral, not to steal, or not to tell a lie, and so on. Those are based on our greedy mind. When our mind is self-satisfied, we keep our precepts. When we ourselves is always self-satisfied. We have our original mind, and we can practice good, and we are always true to ourselves. So the most difficult thing is to keep our beginner's mind in our practice. So if you can keep your beginner's mind forever, you are Buddha. In this point, our practice should be constant. We should practice our way with Buddha's mind always. There is no need to have deep understanding about Zen. Even though you read Zen literature, you have to keep this beginner's mind. You have to read it with fresh mind. We shouldn't say, I know what is Zen. I have attained enlightenment. We should be always big enough. This is very important, and we should be very, very careful about this point. This has been a Cuke Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Sonora with Dog at Bandita, Feline Cuchita, Guest Dog at Bumbu or Bumbita, and the spirit of dear lovely Katrinka, who gets out of quarantine in Jakarta tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and flies to. Uh, Bali, and if all goes according to plan, she's getting her last PCR test results tomorrow morning, <laughs> like when she checks out. Oh, by the way, you have to stay here two weeks now, which is what would happen if she tests positive. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> or not sure, maybe stay another week uh, until she tests negative, something like that. Um, but anyway... We're all wishing you, and yours, and all of us, a grand awakening. <laughs>